Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. Today I have a quick Gmail tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to put your own picture as your Gmail background. It's really quite simple to do. A lot of people have been struggling with actually uploading their picture to Gmail to be able to use it. We'll solve that problem for you today. You will have your own custom Gmail background in no time. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so I've got Gmail loaded up here and it looks pretty plain without a custom background. I do have a photo over here on my desktop. This is the one I would like to add as my custom background. It's from Lake Louise, Alberta. So what we would typically do if we wanted to change our theme here, we would go to our little gear or sprocket up here in the top right hand corner. That's the settings option. We would left click on that with our mouse and you should see a themes option here where it says view all and you can view all of your themes that are in here. Now these are not custom themes. These are pre-done ones that Google gives you. Down here in the corner, it says my photos right there. You can go ahead and left click on that. And this is where you would select your photo to go into your Gmail theme. Now, a lot of people are struggling with getting their photo in here because it doesn't allow you to select one. If there's not one in here, you can't actually drag and drop your photo in here. It just doesn't work. So we're gonna show you how to get your photo in there right now so you can select it. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is actually go to our top right hand corner and you'll see your Google apps. There's nine little dots there. You can left click on that with your mouse. And we're gonna look for our Google Photos app. It's right there, Google Photos. You can go ahead and left click on Google Photos and it's gonna load that up for you. And what we need to do is actually upload our photo here into Google Photos. So the first thing we're gonna do, you can actually click on upload here in the top corner and search your computer for it. Or you can drag and drop your photo right into here, just like that. And it's gonna upload it right into Google Photos. It should show up here any second. Let me just refresh that. There it is. And once you've got that, now the next step is we actually have to create an album. So I'm gonna go over here to the left-hand side and click on albums. And I'm gonna click on create album. And we can call it whatever we want. I'll call it mine album one. And then we're gonna click on add photos here. And I'm gonna actually select both of these so I could use them both as a background. I'll select that one and this one here. And then in the top right-hand corner, we're just gonna go ahead and hit done and it's gonna add those to our album. So you can see they're in the album. This is the important step. We do need our photos to be in an album. Now we're gonna go back out and we're gonna jump back over to our Gmail. So back over here in Gmail, go up to the gear or sprocket in the top right hand corner, left click on that. Again, go down to themes here, left click on view all. And again, at the bottom here, it says my photos. You can left click on my photos. And now all of a sudden your album that you created shows up. So you do need it to be in an album to see your images. We're gonna go ahead and left click on our album. And now we can select whichever photo we'd like as our background. I'll go ahead and left click on the Lake Louise photo. And you can see it puts a blue rectangle around it. Also the select button down here at the bottom turns blue. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And you can see it already applied it there. We'll just go ahead and hit save. And now we have a beautiful custom Gmail background and it's really that easy to set your own photo or picture as your Gmail background. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you put your own picture as your Gmail background. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.